from Priscilla Styles here and today I'm going to show you a couple of techniques on how to color some flowers. I have um, the Color Me Crazy flowers that I'm going to be using today and I'm going to use Copics and I'm going to show you a project that I made. It's a 4th of July card and I'm going to show you how to make this flower on the back that looks like the American flag. And I'm going to also show you a couple of techniques from the flowers, how I colored the flowers on the envelope. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to use one of the larger flowers from the Color Me Crazy Giant Daisies. It com th those come, um, they come embossed, so they're really pretty. They're used for layering, but today I'm not going to layer them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by masking off with just a couple of pieces of paper a corner of the flower I'm going to use my B29 Copic pen with my airbrush system put the nib side into the Copic system, the Copic airbrush system and then just go ahead and airbrush the corner very simple There you go, there's the first part. Second part, you're going to take some quarter inch tape and you're going to just mask off some stripes. Then I'm going to take my R27 Copic sketch marker and we're going to cover up this corner so we don't have any overflow overspray there and we're going to just give it a quick you can make it as dark as you like then you just take your flower and you peel off and trim off those edges and you peel off the double sided tape okay we got all those trimmed off now it's time to glitter of course ah gorgeous Next, I'm going to show you how I put the stars on. And what I'm going to use is a liquid applique because I want my stars to pop up a little bit. I'm just going to throw a few stars around on here. Then I'm going to heat set it. So we have some popped up stars right here. And that is about it. That's what I did this flower behind here. So next I'm going to show you how to make these adorable little blue flowers. It's from the Color Me Crazy line and it's the, the flower layers. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one flower out of the pack. They're, you can stack them on top of each other but I'm going to just take one flower out of the pack, use my matching Copic, which is B29. I'm going to take my, my stick here and hold this down. I'm going to lightly spray the whole entire thing. Then I'm going to come in close. And what happens is I'm going to, I'm going to focus the, the Copic ink right there in the center and what happens is it bleeds out onto the flower making such a, for such a beautiful effect. I'm going to come in with a gem and just place it right in the center. Just gorgeous. Simple, easy, and a really nice effect. Now, we have these beautiful silk flowers that was my main flower on my envelope here. And these are made of cotton and silk. 
and they take the color so nicely. So I'm going to turn that one red. Same idea. Now this one is when you spray the center, it's going to flare out and it's going to really showcase the beautiful texture of this flower. And it's real simple. That's it. This one has sparkles already on it, so it's just gorgeous. So there you have it. Three different styles, three different techniques for your 4th of July creations. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial today.